What's up guys, Ryan from RyanMobile.com here, your favorite internet marketing nurse coming to you live from Brooklyn, New York. Yes, I do still practice um, part-time as an, I'm sorry, full-time as a nurse and part-time on my home biz, right? And that leads me to today's topic, which is how to build an online um, biz part-time while you work a full-time job, right? And most people will give you the objection of, I don't have any time or um, there's not enough time during the week, you know, to work on a home business on a part-time basis, right? But in reality, they actually do have the part um, the part time hours, right? Because if you break down your daily routine and actually see that there is there really is a time there, like people who have suggested to break down their daily routine from the time they get up to the time they go to bed every single day, they've averaged off about twenty hours per week of extra time, right? And that's part time hours, guys, <laughs> right? So these these the, these were based off of women and men who actually um who do work full time. They're either married, single, or single parent, and either had one or more uh, more children at home, right? So once they broke down their daily routine and got rid of all the um the unnecessary activities, you know they found that they actually had more time than they actually than they had, especially on the weekends, right? Because or the day, or their days off from um from work, right? So first things first is that you want to write down your daily routines every day and um like so for instance take out a sheet of paper and um what do you the first thing you do in the morning, write down um from getting up, taking a shower, getting the kids ready, um for getting the kids ready for school, um getting yourself ready for work, driving them to school, driving yourself to work or whatever or whatever other routine that you have and then um to going home, travel time uh, setting up uh, dinner, um, do, going over homework, you know, watching TV with the kids or doing any other hobbies or activities that you have, then getting the kids ready for bedtime, then having spouse time or your significant other time or whatever time you do spending after getting the kids to bed up until you go to bed, you know, even if you have, if you read a book or you listen to some meditation or anything like that, right? So just basically lay that out, figure out how much time you have and just eliminate anything that's unnecessary, Right. Like, do you really have to watch four hours of TV every single night? You know, if you eliminate, if you even cut that down to like two hours a day, you know what I'm saying? That's 10 hours already extra that you had saved for the whole week, if you think about it, right? So after you've done that, next thing you do is you got to prioritize your life. You know, as much as we love going out and hanging out with friends and socializing, you know, or, or doing, you know, going to the sports bars or going to... Anywhere, you know, just to watch, you know, like me, I loved watching UFC, boxing, sports, anything that had to do with sports and going out and, you know, and having a couple of drinks with my friends. But I knew that at the, I knew that once I started this business or home business, I knew that it was much better spent and much greater on my home business. Right. Uh, than actually being outside and socialize. So instead of trying to turn up every weekend or every day, you know, I turned down a lot. And and if it wasn't related to, you know, to to my family or if it wasn't um, religious related or even um, job related, I eliminated it, right? So basically what I did was anything that didn't have to do with what my with my family, religion or or job, it didn't even exist anymore. Like I don't even watch TV anymore. Maybe once in a blue moon I'll catch Sports Center. <laughs> you know, but other than that, there's no reason for you, to, you know, that those are that's the time that you could be spending on your home business, right? And plus think about it, right? You get a plan to go out it takes time, right? You know, make a phone call, find out who's going out. You know, then do you want to? Then you're gonna make another phone call to find out if other people want to come out. Then you gotta figure out what you're gonna wear. If you got a haircut, you know, you gotta go take a shower. Gotta go get the kids. Um, find a babysitter, right? And then next thing you know, you're like, damn, I gotta go take a nap because I'm getting old. <laughs> I gotta take a nap before I go out and hang out, right? So it does take time. By the time you know, before you know, it's like four or five hours you spent on just planning. And I didn't even mention going out, picking up people and all this other stuff, right? So, I mean, just prioritize, you know, your, 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 your life, you know, and figure out what you need in your life and what you need to work on as far as towards your business, right? And um, see, like, you could be working on your mindset, personal development, you know, um, you could be working on skill sets at home instead of, you know, going out and socializing. You could be doing what I'm doing right now, which is I'm pre-recording my videos, Right for the whole week, or for my blog, you could be writing your blog, completing your blog, emailing your list, or you know setting up your 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 your, your emails for the whole entire week. You know the, those are things that you can do on the weekend or the time that you have at home, right? 
instead of actually going out watching t uh, socializers and watching TV. I mean, don't get me wrong, socializers can be in there, but I mean, you you can always work or uh, work on that afterwards, after you establish the business, right? Because then now you could social you could you could outsource those things to somebody else and it'll bring you back even more hours back, more hours to you, right? So once you start building yourself and building your business online, you can outsource even more. more, And then you'll free up more and more time and before you know it. You, you got everything down packed and listed, you know, what, what things that you need to do. You prioritize it, right? So, I mean, it's going to be tough in the beginning, right? It may be tough just to get started and, and get into the routine. But, you know, once you start figuring out, you know, set up yourself a DMO, what are you going to do every single day? You know, like I said, you roll out your list already, so just write out, the un just get rid of the unnecessary things that you need to, um, that you don't need, and replace them with income-producing activities, right? So, you know, value your time, you know, if you gotta, you gotta just really value your time, and if you don't value your time, that means you don't value yourself or your business either, right? So, I mean, you gotta really believe in here and know it in your heart that it's gonna be worth it, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, the, the fun stuff, you can always add that later on after everything starts, you know, everything is already established. You know, there's no reason for you <laughs> to like not have fun either, you know? And, um, and like I said, it, it gives, it, it's gonna give you time. It'll give you time back. Imagine having all that time back. What would that do for you and your family to have all that time back, right? So number two that I wanna go over and give you really quick is um, during the week when you're at work, utilize the short time that you have or the breaks that you have, right? So if you have, um, during a break at work, if you have like five minutes or even less than that, you can shoot a quick video. You can go on Facebook Live, YouTube Live and shoot a quick video, a value-driven video, and, um, or you can follow with leads or request a certain amount of people real quick, you know, interact on social media, reply to emails, you know, you can do those little things. You can even read a book for five to ten minutes or listen to an audio for five to ten minutes. You know, if you it adds up every day if you think about it, right? Or you can reply to people, you know, or you can also go back to your social media and reply to um, and, and engage with people who comment on your post, right? So um, another tip I want to give you is that, you know, have a notebook always next to you because sometimes you have ideas that pop up in your head. You can just write it down really quick or you can put it in your, in your, in your smartphone, Right, you know, and and like stuff. For instance, you could think about during the day that you're not. You could think about um, what do you call? You could write down certain things for your blog, ideas. If you're writing a blog or or content, and and just write them down so you don't lose them. All right, you know, the other day I shot a video, of less than a minute. It was 48 seconds. It was just one tip, and I got I got engagement and I got a lot of um interaction on that on that on that one tip. And it was like I said, it was only 48 seconds. I was literally walking back to work. <laughs> You know, so utilize the time that you have, um, or the free time. Most people have more uh, more free time during lunch. Maybe it's a half an hour or an hour, but use it. You know, try to um, you know, try each one out. Uh, try each one and see what works best for you. You know, if you if you have an hour lunch, that's a lot of time. I mean, do you really have to eat for a whole hour? Most people don't. They, most people spend like five to ten minutes ordering food, or if you have your own food, that's great. Bring it. You know, I suggest that because it saves time also, and. Um, the rest of that time you can utilize or you can use to work towards your, your business. All right. So that's it for me today, guys. Hope you have value from this. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me um, at ryanmabond.com um, to get on my email list, my personal email list, and I can send you every every week um, my blog and other, other stuff. Uh, go to ryanmabond.com forward slash email and you'll receive um, weekly um, blogs, videos, and free tips as well. And if you got value from this, like I said, like, comment, and share, even subscribe for my YouTube channel followers and just follow me. And, and in the description, please, I would love to hear some feedback from you guys. All right. So I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Peace.